Hi, my name's Craig Hallam, author of steampunk gothic novel Greaveburn. But I don't just write steampunk, I live it too. I'm astounded by the creativity that steampunk inspires, whether in authors, tinkerers, artists or crafters. The wealth of material is incredible. And as I've met other steampunks, I've met kindred spirits. Setting up Steampunk Doncaster under the banner of the airship Deedworthy, we've come together to spread steampunk to people who are missing out on the positive attitudes and creativity that steampunk encourages. Who can say no to anything that promotes creativity while drinking lots of tea? Have you got any biscuits? Doncaster is a large town in South Yorkshire. Some of you may recognise the accent from Anime Steamboy, which was based just a few miles from here. But we have a surprising lack of steampunk events in our area. While there are small groups spread across Yorkshire, no one's tried to pull this all together into a single event, which is where the Deedworthy crew come in. We've already planned a fantastic array of attractions for our steampunk convention, which will be holding the weekend of 15th and 16th of June this year. Based in Doncaster's incredible Death Trust building, among the attendees are eminent authors Jonathan Green of the Pax Britannia series and performance poet Anna Chen, to name only a couple. They'll be joined by sculptors, artists, a market filled to brimming with doodads and thingamies, tabletop games and workshops. The whole event will be free entry to the public to encourage as many people as possible to attend and of course there'll be enough hot beverages to swim in. Everyone so far has been spectacularly supportive in helping us make this convention a reality. Because we're a non-profit organisation and I'm just a poor starving author, we'll be taking absolutely nothing from the profits made by our various ingenious artisans, instead investing anything we make to ensure next year's event takes place. But begging favours and signing contracts on varying portions of my soul can only get us so far and this is where we need your help. Certain things we just can't get for free. And in order to make this convention something that sustains itself, growing year after year and spreading the steampunk message, we need your help. So where will your donations go? Posters and flyers are essential to promoting the event, as is the Deaf Trust, our venue, which is a registered charity. Of course, then we have to have upkeep of the airship. So we beseech thee, fellow steampunks, whether you're from Yorkshire or whether you're from a world away, to help us bring steampunk to those less fortunate than yourselves. People who live their lives without anachronism, who've forgotten the way of the cog and strayed from the path of steam. And remember, Give a steampunk a piece of coal and he can power his airship for a moment. Give him the means to build his own domestic fusion reactor and he can change the world. Mm -hmm.